Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I want to speak to you guys about ADHD and commitment. So over the weekend, I've been thinking about kind of like my younger years. I had a bit of like a weekend where I was reminiscing, looking at old pictures and something striked me. Like it struck me like lightning. I was like, wow, I have trouble committing to things. So I'm not on about relationships. I'm not on about, yeah, I'm not on about relationships here. I'm on about like commitment as in like hobbies, um, like passions, projects. Like there's so many pictures. <laughs> oh, I have to insert some photos because it's just, it brought a smile to my face because it was just like, now I have that answer. Now I understand <laughs> why I was like I was. So I went to so many different clubs, like brownies, beavers, army cadets, um, gymnastics, cheerleading, and I didn't stick to any of them. My mum was like, we bought you all the uniform. All you really wanted was the uniform. Then you were like, yeah, I've had enough. I'm moving on to the next one. So there's so many pictures of me growing up in all different, <laughs> all different, like, uniforms. So like, the police cadets, army cadets, um, cheerleading, brownies, um, beavers. There's just so many. And it's just like, now I understand why I could never like just stick. And it was almost like I was bored after the first like month and then it was just like, yeah, I'll move on to the next. And the uniform made me feel a part of a community for like a week and then it was just like, yeah, I'm bored. I want to, oh, I, I don't want to do that anymore. I want to try a different one. And it just makes me laugh. Like I, it might just be me, but I think it's something to do with like the same kind of thing with like, you can't, a lot of us ADHDs can't stick to one project. We have to be like, we have to have our hands in a load of different projects, not just one. And it just made me laugh because I could just see ADHD like com so clearly now in my younger years. Um, and well, even to now, there's so many things that I want to do and I can't just pick like one career or one thing I want to do. There's just like so many. Um, but what just cracked me up was just looking at all these photos of me when I was younger. <laughs> so many different, like, hobby uniforms. You know, like, uniforms, like, army cadet uniforms, police cadet uniforms, um, brownies, beavers. And it just, honestly, just made me think about, like, it's just that, like, all or nothing kind of thing. Like, oh, it just cracked me up. So, yeah. I, I just I just wanted to see if any of you guys struggle with that too. Because it makes me laugh. Because I just... Oh, it's just, I just find it funny. So another area of my life that is affected by my kind of like commitment struggles, commitment issues, is jobs, careers. Like, I haven't really realized this until, like I say, I had this kind of reminiscing weekend, looking at old photos of myself and just seeing how far I've come. Like, it, it just like jumped out at me. And it was just like, even with careers and jobs, there's just like nothing I've, felt like I wanted to do forever there's no like sticking at something for a long time almost gives me a state of anxiety it's like I can't do that for too long because it's like I don't want to do that forever it's the sense of like that's just going to be boring to do that for the rest of my life there's so many other things I could be doing and there's always something better than what I've already got like I always want something more than what I have and it's that sense of like missing out or like, you could suppose you could call it like FOMO like the fear of missing out Wow, I have, I do have a lot of like commitment issues. I could be doing like a project or thinking about doing something, and I'm all, I'm all, like even before I started this project, I'm thinking about the next thing that I could possibly do, the next project I can embark on. There's always something that I want to do next. There's no like, let's see how long. I can hold this job down for or let's see how long this takes me to complete. I have to have that kind of escape route. There has to be something else that I need to be doing or something else I can do because otherwise I feel trapped and like stuck and I don't know if there's anyone else but this like state of like long-term commitment really freaks me out because I don't want to be doing the same thing forever. Like the thought of doing the same thing repeatedly freaks me out like it's like no 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 i have to be that i could be missing out on so many 
amazing opportunities. I have to, I have to like have my doors open. I can't just stick up one thing. And I think that's what it is. Like there's just that fear that there's, I'm missing out on something amazing. I think that's what it is deep down. Like nothing really gives me that um, kind of like dopamine boost that I need because. I think I just set out myself up for failure. Like, I know I'm not alone in this because I've seen it before, you know, I've seen it spoken about, I've listened to it on podcasts. But the problem is, like, I think I just have a difficulty tolerating boredom. Like, I, I, and I fear boredom. I fear silence. I fear just relaxing. I don't know why. I just have a huge difficulty relaxing. I'm, I'm constantly like, I want to do something else. I want to do this. I want to do that. And I've always thought of myself as not so much the hyperactivity type of an ADHD, like physically hyperactive. I'm not that hyperactive, but I'm saying that whilst like doing this with my hands. But I'm not hugely hyperactive, but I guess I am, really, because I am hyperactive in my mind. Because it's like I want to be constantly thinking of the next best thing I could do, or like, but I, I, I can't just stick to this, I'm going to be able to do this, 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 this. There always has to be like multiple thoughts in my head and when I fear commitment I mean as in like if I commit to something it's almost like I can't be thinking of what I'm doing next and I think it just freaks my brain out and it's like nope we can't be doing that. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video it was just me rambling about like commitment but let me know if you can relate down below so yeah thank you so much remember to like and subscribe down below and I will speak to you next time I'll see you next time bye